You should knock before entering, by the way. I'm sorry. What do you want? I'm preparing your clothes for tomorrow's show. I brought the clothes we chose for the previous hostess. <sighs> show them to me. Can you hurry up? This color doesn't suit me well. Go on. This will look bad on camera. Go on, hurry up! This one's too big. What in the world were you thinking when you chose all of these rags? Let me give you some advice. You should work more professionally. Otherwise, you'll lose your job. And I won't be able to bail you out if you do. Considering my loyalty and the worth I'm bringing to the company, I'd like to have some shares in it and a place in the board of directors. You aren't afraid to express initiative. Hi, Mikita. Yes. It's me. Please do a routine check on our new clients and try to find out what is going on at the Silicat Bud. This is a confidential request, do you get it? Just you and me. Nobody should know about it. You know I'm tired. How much longer is this sewing going to take, anyway? <laughs> yes, Andri. It seems like we need to work all day, from morning to night. Why so late? I wasn't able to find enough clothes for tomorrow's show. Anna doesn't like anything. The only one she liked a bit was this, but I need to sew it in. And it's pretty complicated, so I'll have to spend time making it. I got it. Grabrovsky wrote a poem about that. I truly hate this accursed sewing that a capricious lady will throw out as just rubbish. You should hand this over to professional seamstresses and pay them double for the urgency. The sewing shops are all closed. There are no seamstresses here. Anna needs this dress in the morning. Mm -hmm. Mom sews well, though. Give it to Mom. No, I'll do it. Mom's tired enough at the restaurant. Don't worry. Go and have dinner. First, I won't go anywhere. Secondly, I won't go anywhere without you. I'll be rescheduling the shoot now. <sighs> Good evening, Andrei Popovich. We need to reschedule the shoot of my castle. 
Yes, for later. Yes, 1 p.m. sounds good. Yes, for the morning. No, the hostess will read a couple of phrases. That will be all. Have a good evening. <laughs> Thanks. Hello, honey. Hi, love. Are you tired? Yes. The day was intense. <laughs> you should get a good rest. You've been working too much recently. <laughs> I'm so proud of you and I love you. I love you too. I have an idea. Let's invite your family to a restaurant. Why? We'll celebrate your successes. And I'll pay them back for the picnic I asked them to prepare for us. Honey, you know they don't have time for restaurants. My mom and aunt are constantly busy running their restaurant. Yana has a lot of work at the TV channel. And all the more must you rest. I'll call your mom while it's early and invite them. But... I'll... I'll be delicate and polite about it. Frankly speaking, I really can't wait for tomorrow to come. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I won't eat now so that I can have more tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Come on, come on. You're such a lucky person. Don't worry about the restaurant. Petra and I will look after it while you guys are out having dinner. Oh, he will look after it. You're invited, too. I'm invited? But I'm nobody. I mean, I'm not your relative. Formally, yes, you're not our family. But we all treat you and see you as our own family. Dennis thinks that you're one of us. That's why he invited you. Cool, 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 cool. Guys, I dreamt of going to that restaurant. It's so expensive, I looked it up on the internet. Victoria, they have cool dishes there. Aren't you afraid of shaming yourself in their restaurant? What do you mean by that? Hmm. Well, there are strict rules in such restaurants. You don't have the proper manners. Hmm. And you are... What? I know everything. I know how to use a fork and a knife properly. That's not enough. Such establishments have strict policies. One should know what to eat with what dish and what napkin to take. Plus, everything is expensive. If you break a glass, you'll pay half of your wages. Wow. I shouldn't go. Mm -hmm. Why are you scaring the child? Don't listen to her. There's nothing scary in those restaurants. They are. They're scary. <laughs> if you're so clever, why don't you share your knowledge? From now on, you'll be responsible for Zoriana's lessons. <sighs> oh, I'm in trouble. Olya, oh, yeah. let's do it together. Mm -mm. Hmm? Hmm? If Zoriana ever gets in trouble in that restaurant, you'll be responsible. Hmm? Why are you sitting with your shoulders down? Why are your elbows on the table? Thank you for taking good care of me. You're so sweet. But I wasn't a good girlfriend for you. Hi. Well, I'd like to give you what you deserve. But I can't. I know that you deserve someone that knows they love you. Maybe if... Let's not hurry things up. I don't want you to force yourself. I'll wait. I'll wait for as long as it's needed, okay? Okay. It's getting late, let's go. Mm -hmm. I have everything that I used to dream of. 
A career, success, a handsome and rich husband who adores me. Why am I worrying then? Why aren't I happy? Hi, are you awake? Did you sleep well? No. I was awake all night and had weird dreams. Are you leaving already? Yes, there are lots of clients. I have to go to the office earlier to do all the work myself. Be careful on the road, honey. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that tonight we're going to have dinner with your family? Of course I do. But I still don't like this idea. You spend more time with my relatives than with me. I understand now. Are you jealous? Okay, I promise you that I'm going to arrange a romantic date just for the two of us, okay? Bye, Swallow. I'm not a Swallow. A family dinner. <clears throat> How boring. Yes, Mikita, I see. Mm hmm yes. New clients, the recent arrangements, the report about the company. Good, you did it fast. I also need annexes to the agreements, yes. Mm hmm the most recent ones. I need you to copy all of the documents that they have on deliveries of our goods. All of them, copy. Everything. Yes, you've got me. On my table, I have questions regarding the changes of the personnel. Yes, we'll keep in touch. What are you doing here? I... Uh, uh, I always clean here around this time. Why do you ask? Uh, I just didn't want... Uh, uh, to interfere, that's why I didn't knock. I realized at once that you're uh, discussing business matters. Uh, I thought you decided not to work anymore. I'm not working. Can't you see? I'm just playing cards. Hmm. I'm not so stupid. I heard everything about the agreements, our goods, and about the personnel, too. Yes, I started to check how the business is going in our company again. Now, after the recent problems... I just decided that I should keep things under control. Okay, so when was the last time you kept your heart rate under control? Letta worries about you so much, but you continue to kill both her and your heart. Aren't you ashamed? Zana. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Don't tell her anything. Please? <sighs> huh? Okay, but this is the last time. Please don't disappoint me. I know that you're a very responsible and sensible man. Zana, what are you praising Risha for? What do you mean? I, I just decided to compliment Riri Markovich. Since he is a very kind and sensitive person, I've been wanting to tell you for a while now, Letta. You got lucky with your husband. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Uh... Thank you. What was that just now? <laughs> I'm proud of Anna. And not only me. She did things that are invaluable to all of us. Anna, 
has always been smart, since childhood. Everybody knew that she would achieve success in life. Where's Andri? Will he come? Oh yes, he's running late, but he'll be here. Did you invite Andri? Um, why are you so surprised? Andri is your sister's boyfriend. Andri is producing my show. He's very busy. He should be working on the show. The success of our family business depends on it. If Andrew was too busy, he would have refused to join us. Hello, everyone. Hi, Andre. Hi. Sorry for being late. I bought a present for Anna. Anna did a lot for me, personally. I want to thank her. Here. The most valuable and dearest gift. What's in there, I wonder? Anna, open it up. I'll open it later. Thank you, Andre. Sit down, please. Why delay it? You can open it right now. Mm -hmm. I don't want to feel uneasy. I don't know what's in there. What if it's something personal? Then Andre wouldn't give it in everybody's presence. Mm. I'm dying of curiosity. If Anna doesn't want to show it, I'll sneak a peek myself, okay? <gasps> <gasps> Luba! I'm so sorry. Luba, don't worry about it. It's all right. I'll be quick. Luba, stop it. It needs dry cleaning now. Olya Valentinovna, don't worry. Nothing bad happened. God, what a shame. How could you behave like this? Why did you snatch that package? It was Anna's present. What did you have to do with it? It happened accidentally. I was just curious about what was in it. I didn't know that the waiter was passing by me. I swear Don't I... Don't you understand? What does the waiter have to do with it? Let me repeat. It was Anna's present. Why did you take it? And yesterday, you were just telling Zoriana about matters and now... I already apologized a hundred times. Should I have begged on my knees? What else could I do? I wanted to compensate for the damages, but Dennis didn't let me. Yes, because Dennis is a polite and well-educated person. Mom, don't talk to Yuba like that. She's ashamed. She knows well that she made a mistake. I don't think she knows that she made a mistake. What do you want from me? Do you want me to cry, to kneel, to kiss his feet? Why do you hate me so much? I'm working in the restaurant from morning till night. I'm doing everything for the family. I've never heard a single kind word from you. You don't like anything. If it irritates you so much, I leave at once. Don't stop her. Let her go if she wants to. Thank you. Goodbye, then. <laughs> What is that idiot thinking about? <clears throat> I'll plant marigolds over there by the porch area. And there I think I'll plant some pink peonies. Mm hmm. Ryuri Markovich. Listen to me. I found a folder with some documents in your office. What file? Here, this one. With some schemes if Lara sees it. I dream of the apple. What is going on? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing's going on. I came to take his glass from him so I could clean it up. Risha is still drinking that. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Uh... I didn't realize. Enjoy your milk. You and Zana have been behaving so strangely. Are you two hiding something from me? What are you saying, honey? What kind of secrets would I even be having with Zana?
What does pantomime mean? And don't tell me nothing is going on again. Do you really think I'm a fool? Xana, please go. Do you hear me? Go. Risha. I demand an explanation. Lyra. I had to check the business side of the company. Zana found out about it. She kept quiet because I asked her to. I... I'm sorry. I'm guilty. How can I believe you now? You promised me. You didn't do as you promised and you were lying to me. Lara... I don't want to see you, Risha. Lara, don't say that. Why? Why? Я обійму тебе в останній раз і прощавай. I really like it, Dad. It was really nice. Is that yours? Hello? It's me, Liuba. Sorry for the late visit. Could you let me in, please? Petra, do you hear me? Yes, I do. I'll come down now. Liupa, what are you doing here? I came to visit you. I quarreled with Olya, and I left. You weren't answering your phone, so I came. How did you find my address? In your questionnaire. Will you let me in? I can't, excuse me. I have a flood because of a pipe burst and the water reached up to the knee. I'll help you with it. Uh, no need to. It'll dry up. Maybe you should... Go to some... some other friend of yours? You can go to her. I don't have other friends. <laughs> I only have work and no home now. And you're driving me away. Excuse Stop, me. Liuba. Just wait for me. I'll come down. I'll change my shoes. Um... who was there, Dad? A woman? I heard a female voice. Sonny, I'll explain later. Don't wait for me. Um, go to bed. Okay, Dad, but where are you going? I'm done now. Let's go. We'll take a walk. Let's go. <clears throat> I thought Yuba came back already. <sighs> Mom, go to bed. You really need to get rest. How can I go to sleep now? I'm thinking about her. Where could Yuba be? <sighs> oh, she isn't answering her phone? God, how could I have shouted at her like that? Oh, Mom. <sighs> when your father died, she was only 15 years old. Just a young girl, really. She was always, always helping me. She was always working without a break, you know? She didn't get higher education. <laughs> she never had time for private life. <laughs> She's been helping us all the time. She could have had a different life. 
a much better one. Yuba knows very well that we love her. Give her time to calm down and call. And you will be able to apologize for all that you said. God, I hope she comes back soon. Where might she be? It's dark out. She has no money, her phone's batteries must be empty. <sighs> Here you go. Thank you. I mean... <laughs> it's good to have a person one may count on. <laughs> Nobody cares for me. Sometimes I feel... so lonely. I'm strong, but I'm still a woman. Luba. I need to go home. <laughs> what for? Do you want to go to a flooded apartment in the middle of the night? It's dry and warm here. And here you have me. I understand. I better go. Let's eat. I am very hungry. Could you cook something for us? You can go and cook anything yourself. Hmm. What if I want you to cook for me? Hmm? Damn it, I overslept. I overslept. Morning, how are you? Hi, Dad, where have you been? I'm sorry. I'm late. Uh, for the cooking class. I'll explain everything later. Good morning. Sorry for being late. May I? Thank you. May I sit here? Thank you. Don't worry, we haven't started yet. Hmm. Hmm. I forgot my whisk. I'll lend you mine, it's nothing. I'll be most grateful, thank you. The stain won't get off. I'll take it to the dry cleaners before work. Sorry about my aunt. Nonsense. It was a silly accident. My aunt Liuba is not an accident. She's a walking problem. She's too clumsy, and she's too loud. It's such a shame. 
We shouldn't invite her to restaurants, especially if they're high class. Honey, what's wrong with you? How can you talk like that about your relatives? You used to be so attentive to them. You were proud of them. I love them, of course. How could you think otherwise? And I didn't change. Your attitude to me changed. I know how it happens. A husband gets tired of the wife and starts looking for her shortcomings. Or even make them up. Tell me the truth. Are you tired of me? What are you saying? I love you as much as before. But your behavior perplexes me sometimes. It's not very pleasant. I don't know what's going on and what to do about it. Hmm. Petro. Honey. Hmm. Hmm. Did you sit here all night? Yeah, so what? Nothing. I'm... I'm just happy that you're fine, that nothing bad happened and you were safe and sound. Mm-hmm. We were all worried about you. Mom Olya couldn't even sleep at all. She didn't sleep a wink. Please... Don't be stubborn. Sleep at home. We all love and value you. <laughs> I work at the network during the day, but I care about Silicat Bud too. I have a couple of ideas. I'm listening. It's regarding the increase of funds for the advertising department. We need additional money. After the success of my show, the Silicat Bud has new clients. It will definitely help the profits of the company grow. Therefore, I deem it very important to allot a share of this money for strengthening the company's image. Go on. I planned a couple of advertising events. Yeah? They're all directed at widening our presence in different regions of the country. The Silicat Bud has all the chances to become a national leader. Our goods are very high quality. Therefore, the advertising campaign shall correspond to that standard. Yes, and? I have some things at my disposal. I believe that it will help increase it twofold at the very least. It sounds convincing enough. I'll think about the additional funds. I'll inform you of the result a bit later, okay? Thank you, Marita Fedorivna. Good afternoon. Espresso Romano, please. You like coffee with lemon too, don't you? Hi. <laughs> Good morning. Espresso Romano? It's my favorite coffee. It's not very popular in Ukraine. Not everybody may appreciate mm -hmm. its taste. Yes, everybody drinks espresso or coffee with milk. But for me, Romano is the tastiest. Join me. I was told that I never drank coffee before. I don't understand how that might be. I don't know how one lives without coffee. Why wake up in the mornings if not for its aroma and taste? <laughs> I agree. I don't think life makes much sense without coffee. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I once tried the most expensive coffee in the world in Indonesia. Did you really drink the Luvak coffee? 
<laughs> I did. But it's made of... Coffee beans badly digested by a civet, yes. <laughs> yes. Well, did you like it? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Why? The taste is very original. Original? Yes. It's a bit bitter to the taste. <laughs> bitter? <laughs> Hi. 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 Did you come to the office together? We met by accident in a cafe behind the corner. Are you coming? I... May I talk to you first? Is it urgent regarding work? It's personal. We'll talk about the personal things later. I have a meeting in two minutes. You coming? No, I... I'll walk. <sighs> Thanks for the coffee. Goodbye. Sure. Goodbye. Anna, is there something wrong? Did you have a fight with Dennis? You won't live to see that. As we can see, the building site is already operational. Thanks to the high quality materials from Silicon. This Catwood, won't do. The workers say that they're very easy to work with and they expect to this shot much won't do it all. Than expected. Thank you. <sighs> There's too much light. Anna is blending into the background. How could you not notice this? And here, stop. I think it'd be best if you include a panoramic shot. Don't pick up on every single shot. Why don't you let me think about this? Why are you so sensitive? I'm doing my best for the business. I'm doing my best too. Why don't you just trust me? You're the one who hired me specifically for this position. It means that you're okay with my qualifications. Yes, but I'm a professional too, and your boss at that. I have the right to point out the mistakes you make and your carelessness. Sure, you can do that. But it doesn't involve picking on every single shot. Fire me if you think I'm a bad director. Creatives are so sensitive. I can't believe that Anna and Dennis met by chance. They were staring at each other. What is going on between them? I can't let those two become close again. Well, Anna? Don't you agree? What do you want from me? Don't you agree with the amendments to the show? I've just read them to you. It's not my job. I shouldn't be thinking about that. You're the editor here. It's your work. You get money to do this. Anna? Yes. Yes, Maharita Fedorivna. You increased the budget? Great! The money is in the account? <gasps> Thank you very much, Maharita Fedorivna. Excuse me. I can't talk right now. I need to run. Mm-hmm. Bye. Honey, I'm so happy that your meeting has finished. Anna, please knock next time you come in, or at least schedule a meeting in advance. It's my office and not our bedroom. Please remember that I have a position here. Sorry, honey. If you want, I can... go out and come in again. I'm very busy, but go ahead, talk to me. I... I just wanted to see my husband for a while. We quarreled this morning, and I feel bad about it. I want to make it right. Honey, forgive me.
Forgive me this time. It's just that I've been very stressed recently because of work in the office. I was tired, and I let out my frustration on you. You understand me, right? You're not mad at me? I'm not. Look what I have. I had it repaired. This ring means a lot to me. I never want to take it off, you know. I know you'll never leave me. Right? We'll always be together? Was it a mantra? <laughs> Anna, I don't understand it, honestly. I have a feeling that you are... that you're trying to control me. That you don't trust me. Stop it, honey. I... of course I believe you. And that's good. It's the most important thing. Mm-hmm. Plus respect. Mm-hmm. So trust me and respect me. Mm-hmm. I have a meeting now. I'm late. Mm. Anna! The partners are waiting. Honey, honey. I'll go now. I've looked through all of the photos and videos I have, starting from childhood and up until the crash. I've got nothing, Arthur. Absolutely nothing. You can have a break if you want. You don't have to force yourself. Could it be possible that... Well, what if I can remember the past? But I don't want to. Maybe I subconsciously blocked my recollections because they contain something that I don't want to know. Because I wasn't such a saint, I know that for sure. In some sense, you're right. Sometimes amnesia does have a psychogenic nature, but not in your case. Why don't we try one more method? Okay, let's do it. It's not difficult. You just have to start writing a diary, recording your dreams detail by detail. You just do it regularly. Because people forget their dreams very fast. Hmm. Okay, but how will that help me? Dreams are the language of our subconscious talking to us. We will analyze your visions and images that you see in your dreams, and we will try to understand what your subconscious is trying to tell you. Or why it doesn't want you to remember your past. Hmm? All right. Good evening to you. Hi, Andrew. Frankly speaking, I'm surprised you offered to meet me here. I wanted to talk and to just relax after work. Hmm. Okay. I'll gladly spend the evening in your company. What are you drinking? Cognac. The same for me. You seem like you're depressed. I'm just tired. After work, how are you doing? How is Yana? Yana? Fine. Thanks. What about you? Why are you here all alone? My family life is not what I expected. What did I expect? That my marriage will be ideal? But it does change after the marriage. 
it might um it might sound weird but sometimes I have a feeling that I'm living with a different person not with the same woman I fell in love with I see maybe it's really a different woman